It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. I am the most pretty YouTuber than your mom's own pussy. Now, I got myself a very nice uh, t-shirt, and as you guys can see, it's like really hippie-like. Now, the main reason why it's like really hippie-like is because basically on my political compass test that I did on my channel, I was actually on the love, and so since I score on the love, I figured why not embrace the hippie style, because basically, of course, I'm like, peace and love, man. Do like, you know, love, not war, man. <laughs> but today's video is a very, very silly topic. We're talking about particular feminists who believe that, of course, for some strange reason, that natives did not rape prior to the white man. Rape did not exist among native nations prior to white contact. I repeat, rape did not exist among native nations prior to white contact. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, geez, Tyler, there's like no way in hell that person's serious. Like that person who wrote that comment is actually some sort of troll and therefore, we should not take it very seriously. Well, guess what? The whole entire tweet that I just wrote to you guys is not actually a freaking joke. That person that wrote it was legit serious. This person is Kate Kelly. She is a human rights attorney, a queer. Like, wait, 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 wait a second. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just so out of date or so out of touch. But the last time I checked, of course, queer was actually an insult, but for some strange reason, it is not an insult, but whatever. Let's get back to the whole entire post. She's a human rights attorney. She's a queer. She's a feminist. She is a maximalist. Like, what the hell does a maximalist even mean? Like, I never heard of that word in my entire life. Okay, back to the post again. She is the co-creator of Scarce Space, the host of a podcast, ERA Now, and she also thinks that abortion is healthcare. Just when you think that was not stupid enough, she actually has more to say. She actually has more to say on this subject. Even their military enemies admit it in their backhand comments, bad as the savages are, they never violate the chastity of any other woman, their prisoner. Honestly, I'm not sure what she's talking about. I'm not sure if she's talking about, of course, like, of course, pre colonization of the Americas, because in that kind of sense, it's kind of true that prior to the Americas, probably, just probably, there was no rules against rape. However, as far as, like, of course, the act of rape, I'm pretty sure that was actually pretty much done. Like, it doesn't necessarily need, like, rules against rape to actually prove the point that rape actually existed because probably prior to like the whole entire laws against rape, rape always existed no matter what. So it's kind of strange. Like also prior to the colonization of the Americas, like some native tribes actually of course sacrificed humans to their gods. And so it's kind of strange. Like it didn't mean like of course that kind of stuff was actually justified or didn't exist, but it still actually happened. So there's like no doubt, like no doubt in my mind that some tribes probably did in fact rape women. But uh, anyway, let's continue on. To everyone doubting this, rape is inevitable. It's a matter of socialization and consequences lack thereof. Today, the vast majority of perpetrators of sexual violence are men. That is because women are socialized differently. We live in the same society, but we rarely rape. It's kind of interesting that you said that the majority of people who rape are men because every single time I see a story of some sort of woman raping a guy, like no one ever takes it seriously. It could be like a pedophile teacher who raped a teenager and of course, guess what? She gets like half the sentences for the same exact crime for a guy. So it seems as though that there's some sort of injustice against men when it comes to the same sort of topic. Why is it that it's okay for women to rape, but they get less time, yet for men, 
they actually get more time for the same crime. If we want to actually, of course, live in an equal society, both sexes need the same time for the same sort of crime. It just does not make any sense for that to happen. Not to mention on the term of rape, of course, when, of course, when a female and a man actually rape each other, guess what is actually defined as rape in the law? Now, in the law, it actually says that, of course, rape is defined as penetration. So, basically, of course, it kind of protects women. And guess who lobbied for that law? It's actually the feminists that actually lobbied for that law. So, yeah. It's a pretty much uh, an equal in terms of the law for men. That's not counting, of course, like selective services or circumcisions or all this sort of stuff about like, you know, the marriage course and stuff. So a lot of injustice against men. But anyway, I'm going to end this video on a very light note. Peace and love, my fellow homies. And I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.